OK, so Bronsted, he never met Lowry. But the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base theory is what we're going to look at today. So acids are proton donors. Anything that can give away a proton is an acid. And a base, a Bronsted-Lowry base, of course, is a proton receiver. So what's a proton? If I have a hydrogen atom and I strip off an electron, I'm just left with a proton. So a proton's really H+, plus, hydrogen ion. So let's look at some examples. Hydrochloric acid, that hydrogen can be donated, as can the hydrogen in sulfuric acid. But in methane, those hydrogens won't come off. The bonds are too strong. And in ethanoic acid, well, only one of the hydrogens is acidic. The other three, I put crosses on, they can't be donated. So it's not as straightforward as it could be. Moving on to Lewis theory, and Lewis apparently was a real pain. That's why he never won the Nobel Prize. Didn't have many friends. A Lewis acid receives an electron pair, and a Lewis base, well, that donates an electron pair. So let's have a little look at some possible Lewis acids. Copper 2+, plus, that would attract an electron pair. That's probably a Lewis acid. And boron trihydride, that's got six electrons around boron, probably room for two more to make eight. That would be an acid. But fluoride, that's not going to attract an electron pair. It's negative. 